how to compute or check your annual income tax payable. Para po to sa mga employers who have existing employees. So kung may mga empleyado kayo, tapos um, usually meron kayong payroll staff or hindi kaya kayo nagko-compute ng withholding tax. So pagdating ng end of the year, usually November, ina-annualize yung computation ng income tax payable sa mga empleyado ninyo. Para pagdating ng December, tie up na yung total taxable compensation income tapos yung tax due. Dapat yung tax due at saka yung na-withheld tie up. So kapag employees ka naman with one employer or kahit two or more employers earning purely compensation income, pwede mo rin itong gamitin yung income tax calculator natin na i-discuss later on. So, kung gusto mong ma-check yung nakalta sa'yo for the whole year, so, pwede mong gamitin itong calculator natin. And then, yung individual business owners or single proprietor na self-employed individuals or self-employed professionals, so, pwede mo rin gamitin itong income tax calculator na i-introduce natin later. Pero bago yan, ituturo ko sa inyo yung income tax graduated rate kung paano basahin or paano mag-compute using the income tax graduated rate. Then kapag mixed income earners ka rin, meron kang income from compensation at saka income from individual business. Basta pumili ka ng graduated rates, itemized deduction, graduated rates or OSD, graduated rate sa business, pwede mo rin gamitin to. So... Bago tayo mag-compute ng actual, i-discuss eh, ko muna sa inyo, explain ko sa inyo kung paano basahin o paano mag-compute ng annual income tax using the graduated income tax rate. Ito para po to sa individual citizens and resident aliens earning purely compensation income and individual engaged in business and practice of profession. So, graduated income tax rate ito. Under the tax code of 1997, as amended under Republic Act 10963, which is the train law. So, ganito po ang pagbasa niyan. Kapag 250,000 ang sweldo mo o taxable salary for the whole year, or ito yung net taxable income sa business mo, zero ang babayaran na tax. Kasi hindi siya lumampas ng 250,000. Kapag dito naman sa next bracket, kapag ang taxable compensation income mo, 250,000 o over 250,000 but not over 400,000, imamultiply daw ng 20% natin yung excess ng 250,000. So again, dito sa next bracket, kapag over 400,000 but not over 800,000, meron daw fixed amount na 30,000 ang tax due mo or tax payable plus 25% in excess of 400,000. So, dito sa next bracket, kapag over 800,000 but not over 2 million, so mayroong fixed tax due or tax payable na 130,000 plus 30% sa excess ng 800,000. Kapag 2 million naman, over 2 million but not over 8 million, Merong fixed amount na 490,000 na tax payable plus 32% in excess of 2 million. So dito sa highest bracket, more than 8 million, i-multiply sa 35%, i-add mo yung fixed amount na 2 million 410,000. So para ma-illustrate natin, gagawa tayo ng example dito sa income tax calculator. So ito yung income tax calculator map. Makikita niyo dito kapag not over 250,000 ang income mo o taxable compensation income or income from business kapag business owners ka zero yung babayaran mong tax kapag not over 250,000. So dito sa next bracket naka-maximize tayo ng 400,000 kaya ang tax due or tax payable is 30,000. So ang ibig sabihin nito ang pag-compute nito, 400,000, ito yung net taxable income mo. Kapag compensation, so take note na nakadidak na dito yung 90,000. 13 month pay and other benefits na 90,000 or less. So kung magkano yung 13 month pay and other benefit mo, 
hindi kasama dito as long as hindi lumampas ng 90,000. So yung mga de minimis benefits, hindi rin kasama rito. Yung mga non-taxable income. So ibig sabihin taxable income lang to. Kapag business owners ka naman, ang taxable income, result yan ng competition na naka-add na yung total gross sales mo or gross receipt. Naka-minus na yung allowable deductions na expenses kapag itemize. Kapag pinili mo naman OSD, optional standard deduction, nakalis na yung 40% na expenses. 40% of the gross sales or gross receipts. Naka-minus na. So ito na yung natitira taxable income, net taxable income. Yun dapat ang ilalagay mo rito. So, kapag yun ang taxable income nyo, it's either compensation or from business, yun ilalagay mo dyan, 400,000 minus 250,000 equals 150,000. So, multiply to 20%, kaya ang result is 30,000. So, 30,000 ang tax due or tax payable mo kapag 400,000 ang taxable income mo. So ang tanong, ito ba dapat ang i-remit sa April 15? So, ang sagot noon, kapag empleyado ka, nabawasan ka na ng 30,000 based doon sa 2316 mo, wala ka na dapat i-remit sa BIR ngayong April 15 kasi na-remit na ng employer mo yon Dapat yung 2316 na binibigay sa iyo, tie up dito. Merong 30,000 na withholding tax. So yung 2316 na yon kapag one employer, pwede mo na rin yung parang ITR, income tax return. Pero kapag dalawa ang employers mo, dapat nagsasubmit ka ng ITR, income tax return sa BIR on or before April 15. Pero kapag business owners ka naman, it's either self-employed individual or self-employed professional galing sa business yung income mo, ang tanong kung ito ba yung babayaran mo sa BIR ngayon, ang sagot nun depende din. Kung nag-file ka ng quarterly ITR, first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, kung meron kang binayaran nun, ibabawas dito yon sa tax due or tax payable na na-compute mo. And then, kung professional ka rin na uh, o subcontractor, mayroong nag-withheld sa'yo o nagbawas sa'yo nung binayaran ka, binigyan ka ng Form 2307. So, i-add mo yung lahat na Form 2307 na yun. Dap dapat i-minus dito sa tax due or tax payable kasi yun yung advance payment ng income tax mo. So, yung result, yun na lang ang babayaran mo sa BIR. So kung over yung nabayad mo sa first to third quarter plus form 2307, so meron kang overpayment. So hindi ka na dapat mong bayad. Pero kung kulang, yun ang dapat mong bayaran. So dito pwede tayo sa bracket na to over 250,000 but not over 400. So pwede yung 300,000 dyan. So ang result is 300,000 ang babayaran mo kapag 300,000. Kapag dito naman sa bracket na to over 400,000 but not over 800. Kung gawin mong uh, 600,000 yan, ang result is 80,000 ang tax due or tax payable mo. So... Ang computation dyan, 600,000 minus 400,000 equals 200. Yun ang excess amount. Multiply daw natin ang 25%, ang result is 50,000. So, i-add natin yung fixed amount na 30, kaya 80,000 ang tax due or tax payable. The same dito, pwede mong gawing 1.5 million kasi in between 800,000 to 2 million. Kung gawin natin 1 million, 500,000. So, the result is 340,000 yung tax due or tax payable mo. Then, sa mga mixed income earners, mayroong compensation at saka mayroong business, income sa business. Kapag itemized deduction or optional standard deduction ang pinili mo, do, pwede mo rin gamitin itong income tax calculator na to, Kasi ito yung pang-graduated income tax rate. So, ang importante lang, yung taxable income mo sa compensation, i-add mo yung taxable income mo sa business. So, ilagay mo lang dito, halimbawa, pag in mo yung compensation mo, salaries, taxable salaries, at saka taxable business income mo, halimbawa uh, 6 million ang total, so dito sa bracket na in between 2 million to 8 million. So kapag ito ang resulta ng taxable compensation, in mo doon sa taxable income sa business mo, 6 million. So ganito ang babayaran mong tax, 1,770,000. Ang competition ng 6 million minus 2 million equals 4 million times 32% daw. So, ang excess is 1,280,000 
plus the fixed amount to 490,000 kaya 1,770,000. So kung dito naman, halimbawa meron kang taxable income na 10 million, ilagay natin. And 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, ang excess noon, 10 million minus 8 million is 2 million. Multiply daw natin ang 35%, kaya merong excess na 700,000. Plus the fixed amount of 2,410,000 ang tax due or tax payable mo. Kapag 10 million ang taxable income mo is 3,110,000. So, nag-conduct ako ng training dito sa yung wala pang pandemic na live training. Tinanong ko yung mga participants, anong gusto nyong bayarang tax? Zero or 3,110,000? Meron siyang magut na gusto niya zero, walang babayarang tax. Meron din siyang magut na gusto niya 3,110,000 ang babayaran niyang tax para daw makatulong sa government at saka sa community. So, ang explanation on o ang analysis natin, yung uh, sumagot sa gusto niya hindi magbayad ng tax, zero ang babayarang tax. Ibig sabihin, taxable income niya for one year is 250,000 lang or below. Pero yung sumagot na dapat ang gusto niya babayarang tax, 3,110,000. So ang ibig sabihin lang diyan, meron siyang taxable income na 10 million. So kung i-minus natin 'yan, 10 million minus, meron siyang natitirang 6,890,000 net of tax. So, mas maganda pa rin yun, di ba? Kaysa 250,000 lang ang income mo, wala kang binayarang tax, pero yun lang ang income mo. Pero kung nagbayad ka ng tax na 3,110,000 o net of tax na income na 6,890,000. So, mas maganda pa rin magbayad ng malaking tax, ibig sabihin, malaki ang income mo. So, kung gusto nyo ng Itong training materials na to, lalo na itong income tax calculator, kung gusto nyo ng kopya nito, meron tayong link sa baba na i-register ninyo yung email address and then picture ng subscription ninyo sa channel na to, yung i-attach ninyo sa form na yon and then submit para automatic may send sa inyo itong training materials at itong Excel calculator ng annual income tax payable calculator. Maraming salamat po sa mga nag-subscribe na sa channel natin. Nasa around 360 na tayo ngayon. So, I hope mag-subscribe kayo at saka mag-click sa bell button para sa next video natin, manotify po kayo. So, ito yung disclaimer natin na yung materials na to for guidance and training for post only. So, hindi ito kapalit sa mga professional advice. So, kailangan, kung kailangan nyo ng professional advice, so, mag-consult kayo. And then, kung mayroong conflict to sa revenue regulations, sa mga revenue memorandum orders, at saka revenue memorandum circulars, sa mga latest NIRC or the train law, so, the latest applicable Republic Act and the train law or the revenue regulation shall prevail. Thank you. Hanggang sa susunod na video natin. Maraming salamat po.